Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt, this is D. It's Wednesday, which means it's time to talk about my money moves. And it's also June 1st, so it's time to talk about my goals and the money moves I'm hoping to make for the month. May was tough. April was tough, and May was even more tough. <laughs> so it was hard to make money moves. The closer I got to the end of the year of my sabbatical year, the less and less money there was to work with, and so the tighter things got. And so I'm hoping now that school officially kicked off today, summer school, that I'll have the chance to make up for lost time for a lot of the money moves that I wasn't able to make. So these are my top five goals for the month of June, and what I'm hoping to do now that I'll be getting four summer school checks, and I'm so excited about that, to have that extra money coming in. So first of all, my first goal is for the month of June to create 12 videos at least. So by doing that, I'm hoping that I'll be able to generate at least $10 per video so that I can get paid. So with YouTube, you have to make at least $100 per month in order to get paid for that month. Otherwise, it rolls over to the next month. So uh, this is actually above average than what I usually make. I make about 7 to $8 a video some videos do a lot better than others so for example my money move videos tend to do the worst and then my savings challenge videos tend to do the best so they kind of balance out so even though this is higher than I normally make I'm hoping that I'll be able to make about this much so that I'll make enough money in the month of June to get paid for the month of June so that's my first goal is to basically get paid <laughs> on YouTube for the month Number two, I'm hoping to put $50 extra towards debt. So let me show you how May went. I've been all over the place this year because of sabbatical and all kinds of things. So for example, January and February, I was only able to put $7 towards debt. So even though that was embarrassing, the big lesson that I hope, or the big point that it drove home is that every little bit counts. So even when you only have literally a few dollars to spare, it does add up over time and so it's like a ripple effect you know drop a pebble in the pond and the little ripples do eventually have an effect march was a good month for debt payments because that's when i got my tax refund and so i made an extra mortgage payment there april was fantastic by accident because 600 of the $650 was in Oopsie. So I was supposed to transfer it from my sinking fund to my Ally account. And instead I accidentally transferred it towards my mortgage principal. And then in addition to that, I also made an extra 50 towards debt. So that was an excellent month, even though it was accidental. For May, I put $23 extra towards principal. And so this was from my YouTube paycheck where I split it up five ways. One of those five parts was towards debt. And so that's where it went. So I'm hoping for June then to do at least $50. So again, depending on how much I make here and how things go money wise for the month, I'm shooting for at least $50 because basically what I'm doing is doubling the amount that I did the month before. So we'll see how that goes. My next goal for June is to be able to put extra towards my Roth IRA. It's been really lean this year, so I doubt I will be able to reach the $6,000 maximum that you can contribute to your Roth IRA, again, because of sabbatical and just small paychecks and all of that. So we're halfway through the year, which means that if I was on pace to meet this goal, I would be right here. I would have filled in this row right here. However, I'm up here. So I'm hoping now with my summer school paychecks to be able to be more aggressive with the payments and put in extra. These are the payments I've made. And then here are the payments that I've made using my YouTube paychecks. So from my first YouTube paycheck, I put in $50 towards my Roth IRA. The second YouTube paycheck, I put in $23. And we'll see if I get paid this month, how much more I'll be able to put. But between my YouTube paycheck and my summer school paychecks, I'm hoping to kind of catch up because again I should be around here at this point so I've got quite a bit of catching up to do so in June I hope to do that because times were so tight in May I wasn't able to do what I typically like to do which is my dividend investing where I invest a dollar at every place I shop at unfortunately 
it was just not enough money to go around and too many bills that needed to be paid. And so I didn't do it for the month of May, but I'm hoping to be able now to do that in the month of June again with my summer school paychecks. So I'm hoping to be able to pump extra money into my dividend account, which is my cash app investing. So you are gonna see me do this payment right here. I had hit the brakes on this investing challenge because again, I had run out of money when things got really tight and so I had to use it for other things. So I'm gonna pick up where I left off and when I fire up Cash App, you're gonna see me invest this money right here. So let me go ahead and color in this paw because now we are rock and rolling again. And I'm hoping to be able to make extra payments this month towards this. So you'll see where I allocate this $77 for this challenge. And in addition to that, you'll also see where I put the dividends that I got for the month of May. So in my Cash App account, I only invest in stocks that pay dividends. And so for the month of May, these were all the companies that paid me dividends. So there were a few real estate investment trusts that paid me, the best one being Realty Income. They paid me a dividend of 372 this month because that's the one that I own out of all my stocks the most in. Verizon paid me 67. JP Morgan Chase paid me 77. Apple paid me 27. Ally Financial paid me 31. Starbucks paid me 48. And these will change month by month because most companies pay a quarterly dividend. So basically they pay every three months. There's only a few companies here that pay me every month. So Realty Income, One OK, or however you pronounce that, AGNC, Pembina. So I've got a few that pay monthly dividends. The rest pay every three months. So June's gonna look different than what May looks like right now. But altogether with all these dividends added up, I ended up getting a total of $8.61. So I'm gonna round it up to $9, and you're gonna see which company I'm gonna invest those $9 in. So let's go ahead and fire up Cash App and reinvest my dividend money, as well as the investing challenge money. Before we get started, just wanted to remind you that you're just watching me for entertainment purposes only. I have no idea what I'm doing, folks. I'm brand new to investing, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just kind of learning the ropes as I go. So you're watching me for kicks and giggles and not for educational purposes or any nonsense like that. So here we are in Cash App and the very first thing I'm gonna do is change my drop down menu. Instead of daily percentage change, I wanna see the share price menu. So it sorts my stocks by the price per full share. Now I wanna see where I can best use my $77 for the challenge. So I'm looking at stocks that cost about $77. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and select Pinnacle West Capital. They are my electricity provider. So APS is the company that they own and they're the one that I pay for my electric bill. So it's 77.65 for a full share and they do pay a dividend of 4.34% as you can see, which is very nice. I'm just looking over their earnings and kind of getting an idea of the company itself. So there it is talking about, you know, how much it owns in Arizona, who the CEO is, how many employees, they're head headquartered in Phoenix, so on and so forth. So I figure this is a good place to put my $77. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Now the market is closed right now, so it gives me an alert that at 6.30 Arizona time tomorrow, the sale will go through. Now for the $9 that I'm reinvesting in the dividends that I got, I'm now looking at sorting my stocks by how much I own in them. So I'm kind of scrolling through and seeing which ones I have little bitty holdings in so that I can kind of beef it up with those extra $9. So I'm having a look-see. There are quite a few shares that I only own a few dollars in. So the one that ended up looking the most appealing to me for those $9 is gonna be my internet provider. So Lumen Technology is who provides my internet services. And if you look at the information, 
I currently have $17 invested in them. Their full share price is only $12.24. And down here at the bottom, it says that they pay a dividend of 8%, which is amazing. So super cheap stock, super high dividend. Looking at their quarterly information to see how they're doing. There's the information about them as a company. And so I've decided, you know, with $9, that gets me almost a full share of this company, which I only put a dollar a month in because I invest a dollar each time I pay, I pay my internet bill. So I'm gonna go for it. $9 is gonna go to them. So again, 6.30 in the morning, it'll be officially official. And that's it, those are my investments. And last but not least, for number five, in the month of May, I closed up shop in Etsy and I moved over to the For the Creator website. So right now I currently have 15 listings there. And so I'm hoping that for the month of May that I can do at least one listing per week. So I'm shooting for a goal of four listings in the month of June. So let me know what kind of printables you'd be interested in me putting on the website. So that way it gets my creative juices flowing and I can start designing printables again. However, if things go anything like today, the first day of summer school did, <laughs> I might not be able to do a printable a week because things were a little bit crazy today. So we shall see, but again, I'm shooting for four. Even if I end up only making one new printable in June, I will be thrilled. But if you all give me some inspiration about what kind of printables you'd be interested in, maybe that'll help me get my creative juices flowing and get me working on those printables. So those are my June goals. If you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you sticking with me. Again, these are usually the videos that do the most poorly in terms of watch time and views. So I really appreciate it if you did stick around to watch this. So let me know by putting the little calendar emoji in your comment below. Again, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you on Freebie Friday. Have a great day.